cock a doodle do. Time to wake up. I uh, just wanted to give a real quick shout out to Dana, Corbin, and Becky if you're watching. I'd like to old unicycling uni packers that I rode the Arizona Trail with. Uh, Lisa Winters if you're watching. My parents, my family members, and everyone else. Just hello. Thanks for watching. Um, I also just wanted to say sorry for the quality of the videos. I have like the cheapest Android phone. I switched from iPhone to Android and just wanted to give it a trial run. And so I just got the cheapest one available. And I love it. But the camera's not very good. So you can probably tell with the video quality. And I also just want to like tell you that I'm not really editing these videos i'm not reshooting them it's just like one take raw so they're not perfect i make mistakes whatever it is what it is and yeah thanks for watching and enjoy beautiful lake and beautiful trail A wonderful day to hike in the woods. Lots of cool crystal clear lakes here with mountain peaks poking out. Pretty neat. Fire and ice. Here's the fire. Here's the ice cold water. And you know what they say, when life throws you water, swim in it. And I'm not going to skinny dip today, so you're welcome. Because my bike shorts need a little wash. But it's going to be cold. Need a little more courage. Day 11, another beautiful day, except for the morning, I had one too many cervezas the night before and I woke up and I didn't want to wake up. My alarm went off like at 5.30 and it hit snooze till 6.30. But I eventually got up and uh, the acorn picker offered us some coffee. So we went over there and he had a fire going on in the morning. So we had a coffee and talked and chilled for a bit and then packed up. And John decided that I was good company so he wanted to ride with me so we took off together and talked for hours uh, it was like dirt roads and fire roads for the first like 25 miles so we could ride side by side and just chat and and it's so cool that he brings his dog like his border collie I think it is and uh, she just runs sometimes a lot of times she's in her like own little basket in the back of the bike and like she's been with him since the start so it's so cool that he 
made it work with his dog. Uh, so yeah, time went by pretty fast. We just rode and rode and took a couple breaks and and then we got to some single track and we started hitting all these cool little alpine kind of lakes. Crystal clear water, beautiful. But towards the end of the day, the mosquitoes. Dang. I, I really think they're worse than Minnesota's mosquitoes. They just came out in full force and he rode ahead and I got there and he had like all his warm clothes on and it, like it was hot out but he was like the mosquitoes were terrible and he didn't have any bug spray so luckily I had a can and we sprayed well actually I went for a little quick dip in the lake first to kind of get refreshed and then put on a lot of bug spray and even that didn't seem to work that well. Uh, we made dinner. We we're gonna have a fire, but no, not gonna happen with the bugs. He actually ate his dinner in his tent because the bugs were so bad. Uh, so besides that, like it was a great day. Uh, another big day, like 30 miles. And the mosquitoes, two thumbs down for them, but what can you do? Put on a lot of bug spray or go in your tent. And that's exactly what I did.